today is pretty windy and I do not have a mic good enough to handle the wind. This is straight open. It's an omnidirectional off the, the zoom that I have. And I would like to film, but I do not have what they call, oh gosh, a wind sock or some people call it a dead cat. And it's like a fuzzy cover that goes over the top of this to keep the wind from hitting the mic strictly, causing a lot of that wind blowback. So I'm kind of cheap and I don't want to wait for an Amazon delivery because I want to film today. So I'm just going to use cotton balls and an old sock. And I'm going to see if I can just, you know, wrap the cotton balls in here, put it around like that, and then right over the top and see if I can make a wind sock. And we'll test it out, see what happens. A wind sock out of cotton balls and an old sock. But this, I know it doesn't look clean, but it actually is clean. It has been washed. And, um, hey, I can't help it if my feet get pretty dirty. Let's go ahead and roll this like that. Let me get most of it down so then cover the screen. Let's do a repack here. I'm just kind of packing that around just like that. Of course, it's probably going to muffle the sound, but hey, you know what? I've never tried this before. It's brand new. It's just an idea I had. I mean, based on all the foam stuff they put out, can't be much, too much different. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, how would you say, old school, jerry-rigged, uh, just um, cheap, not uh, not that professional. And uh, just power that on and see what we got. All right, what I'm trying to do now is check the levels on my homemade sock or wind sock that I created. In the background, um, I don't know if you can hear my clock ticking, if I'm quiet, or you, you might hear my uh, solar panels charging the house. Anyway, um, you want it to be to between negative 12 and 6, and I'm, I want to just make sure I don't go all the way to the end, to the top here. And you can adjust the levels to go a little bit higher off to the side here. There we go, kind of 78, 80. There we go, we're getting a little bit higher up and I'm kind of afraid I'm gonna to top out. So I'm just gonna go and bring it back down. And I think 78 would be good in this environment. Of course, there's a little bit of echo off the countertop and also the wall back there. But uh, let's try that outside and see if it actually works on a beautiful windy day. All right, so I'm outside on this beautiful sunny day and I'm testing out my ghetto windsock. So this windsock is made with, as you saw in the earlier clip, cotton balls and an old sock that is actually clean. So I did bring a clean sock to the game, folks. So don't, don't worry about that. What I want to talk to you about today, well, first of all, let's go through the whole thing. Welcome to Living a Sustainable Dream. And this is uh, pretty much the, the news of the day, what's going on at our homestead. And so the wind gym sock is pretty much a cheap alternative to the one you can buy online. What are you doing, babe? Hey, I'm doing this really cool video. Look what yeah. I invented. I invented the wind gym sock for the Zoom. Would you like to be interviewed? Um, not really. <laughs> Why not? Honey, it's looking a little dirty. It's clean. Yeah, but babe, seriously, it's looking a little uh, a little skanky there. Works for me just fine. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess I can see the unappealingness of it. So, yeah, maybe I should just go ahead and order the one online. Maybe. Hey, it works great for self-interviews because it's my sock and I trust where it came from. But when you interview someone that you care about or even don't care about, it gets a little kind of weird. Yep. Thanks for joining us on Living a Sustainable Dream. Yeah.